Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today I'm back in Dawlish Warren on another spring tide and this time I happen to find my first ever jellyfish so I do hope you enjoy this video if you do please drop a like and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video from me. So that's enough intro and let me show you what I found. After finding my first ever long spine sea scorpion only a few weeks ago at Wembury, I found another. However, this one was just a juvenile. Here we have a masked crab burying itself in the sand. This is typically what they do during a low tide, as it protects themselves from potential predators. It was my first time finding juvenile rocklings that have this coloration, but I did find quite a few. And I did find a lot of groups of many different species of fish, some of which I never found before so I knew I wanted to get a lot of footage of them. Still yet to find a live lobster, but finding this tail from one was pretty cool. This shanny was hiding in a little cave and waiting for the tide to come back in, but it's okay as they can survive out of water for quite a while. This was actually the first time that I found an egg carrion prawn. And I found this quite interesting. I remember filming this patch of snake locks and enemies a few months ago for a video, and it appears to have grown a substantial amount since then. This was also my first time finding these light bulb sea squirts. I was quite intrigued by them at first as I had no idea what they were at the time.
and I was surprised to see this shag and seagull fighting over a meal. After a closer look, I managed to find out that they were fighting over a top knot. So, here's what you've probably clicked on the video for. This is a blue jellyfish, and this is the first time I've ever found a live jellyfish. It was interesting to see this species around here, as they seem to be more common on the east coast of England. I was unsure if these guys can actually give you a sting or not, but the best advice I can give to you is to not attempt to touch any jellyfish you find in a rock pool or washed up on the beach, regardless of whether it is dead or alive. Thank you all very much for watching this video, I do hope you all enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you next week for the next video.